Hey, Addictonistas! Welcome to my channel, PSA. Always nice to see my Addictonistas, so thank you for stopping by to all my subscribers. And if you're uh, new here and you're checking this out for the first time, welcome as well. And I hope you like what you see. And if you do, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, hit the notification bell because this Addictonista is always shopping and uh, always into something so if you're curious to know what's going on in my um, with my UPS guy and me this is the place this is the channel so anyway uh, um, I'm really glad that you guys are here I want to do a PSA tonight actually uh, for one of my uh, subscribers a Dick Denista who, who asked uh, a few weeks ago if I was able to do a, uh, a PSA of um, she wanted to know about my Vera wallets and yes, I do have a few Vero wallets and not a whole lot, but I have a, a few that I think maybe might be of uh, use and maybe um, perhaps you were looking into these uh, wallets. So hopefully whatever I have uh, would definitely help you guys decide if it's for you. Uh, I am working off my cell phone today because my computer is being, uh, is in the shop being tuned up. So hopefully... I will get my computer soon because I miss my computer. Uh, so as soon as I get that, uh, but right now I'm, I'm I'm doing this PSA off my phone. So this is interesting because instead of looking normally, I look down. I'm looking sideways, but I'm gonna work my way uh, in here. Anyway, so let's get to uh, Vera wallets, and I do have my Vera wallets here, and um, they come in all shapes and all sizes. So I think I'm gonna start off with two little wallets right now. It's the only two that I have. And it is the, and some of them I haven't really used. I'm using a Vera wallet now, but a lot of these I have not used. They're waiting for their moment uh, and glory to be used, but yeah. So this one, uh, as you can see, is a classic black. And I also have it, uh, this one as well, in Bordeaux Blooms. And these are both uh, the, uh, and all my wallets for the most part, you will see RF, RFID. Because I truly believe that everyone should make RFID wallets in today's day and age. And it, it kind of boggles me that a lot of the high-end um, designers are still not making RFID wallets. I don't get that. Uh, like Dooney and Burke and Coach. Uh, well, Dooney and Burke, let me just say, they probably have one or two. And maybe, I don't even know if Coach has. I haven't seen any. But the point is, they should not have one or two wallets. All their wallets should be RFID. So Coach, Tory Burch, um, who else? Uh, Dooney and Burke. Uh, those are a few that come to mind that they don't, I, there's no RF, RFID in them. Um, the only one pretty much that I've, I've purchased with RFID is Fossil. So Fossil, I'll have RFID wallets and Vera Bradley as well. And who else? Oh, and Patricia Nash. If you guys saw my PSA with Patricia, she has wallets that, that have RFID. So thank you, Patricia. I'm willing to spend a few dollars, but I'm not going to spend dollars if you don't have RFID. Sorry, you want a lot of money for these wallets, you should put in RFID. That's all I gotta say. If you disagree, let me know. I'm curious. Is it, you know, is it, you think, is it too much for me to ask for RFID for the price that I'm paying? Anyway, all right, so let's get on with it. And the before we go there, I'm just gonna let you guys know, just for reference, so you guys can get an idea on how these wallets would fit in your bag. I am going to use as my model uh, a, a small bag because obviously these wallets you would know will fit in a large bag. But I'm going to use this uh, small. It's my uh, little hipster. And if you can see, the little hipster is just a, a crossbody bag. I'm going to know her size just to give you an idea of what I'm working with here. Um, my Vera Dictanistas, I'm sure you have this as well. That's why I'm using this as a, as a model because a lot of us do own uh, the uh, little hipster. And I thought it was a good good way to show you how these wallets fit in the bag. Um, yeah, 
So let me just give you, give, show you here the RFID compact wallet. And this one I have it in classic black. And then like I said, I have it in Bordeaux uh, blooms. Uh, these are the only two that I have. I love this wallet, it's really cute. Um, I'm noting her size here as well, so that way you guys have an idea of what the wallet size is. It's really small. And let me just give you a quick little tour inside. It's one of those um, fold wallets. As you can see, it has a double snap here. And it has a cute pattern inside. Uh, this is the signature uh, one, as well as this one is also the signature, so it's not factory, it is a signature um, style. And as you can see, it has these uh, sl uh, slots for your credit cards, and it has credit card slots here. And then it has more credit card slots here. And then it has this clear ID window. And then it has two slips for your bills. And that goes right there. And then I also like this wallet. I haven't used it yet, but this is so cool because it has this pocket uh, there. And let me just show you. See, it has the po a zipper pocket, so you get that extra added um convenience of security so if you want to put something in there uh like your 100 dollars bills that you're going to take with you as you go shopping at vera bradley we can only dream right you want to put it in here and keep it nice and safe until you get to the store and this would be the pocket where you want to put your big dollar bills or your receipts or maybe your boyfriend's phone number or something something in here but anyway that is cute. So I like that little, that pocket there. Uh, and then it has, yeah, it has uh, more pockets back here as well. I think it has, nope, that is about it. Oh, I'm going to show you the back side to this. Let me close this. So the back side has this uh, coin change, which, um, or rather this coin pocket, which has a nice uh, size, a nice gusset, so you can fit plenty of change here. And then it has this extra added pocket as well. So just to show you on the, very quickly on the uh, Bordeaux Blooms, it's the same. And you probably can see the zipper here on this one a little better since it's in pink. That's a beautiful interior. So yeah, so it's that pocket, which is really cool. I think that's a really nice added feature to put in there. And as you can see, it has plenty of uh, slots for your credit cards. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this inside the hipster so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. See, so there you go. So this is um, the compact wallet in the hipster. Plenty of room, so it leaves you with, with plenty of room, as you can see, as you can tell, and. Yeah, so you can put it up this way as well. And it gives you like half the bag is, is you can use. So that is the compact wallet. All right, so the next thing uh, I'm going to do, actually I'm gonna shut my phone off. All right, so the next wallet that I have, um, actually not this one. We're gonna do this one. Yeah, this is a very popular wallet as well. This is the term lock wallet, which um, a lot of uh, folks will pick up as well. It's very popular. It's been around for a very long time. It's the only term lock wallet that I have. And basically it's that because you could just turn it, flip it like that. Um, yeah, and this is in the pattern blue tapestry. This I picked up at the outlet. So it's not a signature, it's an outlet uh, version. But I think the signature is probably the same size, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's really cute, it has this pocket in the back. So there's your pocket, plenty of space to put change in here as well. Papers, whatever you need. It has a cute little um, ribbon zipper pull with the Vera Bradley on it. And then when you open, oh, actually, yeah, let me open this up. When you open this one up, there you go. That's your inside uh, view. You have credit card slots here. Well, actually, you have this main main slip for your uh, dollar bills you could put here. And then you have these slips 
for your credit card so that's about six all together and then on this side you have another slip as well which this one is pretty cool because you can put your like receipts and stuff and I like this one because it has two clear windows so you get double the fun on this one so you can put your driver's license and then you can probably put your school or work ID or something like that um, in here or you can even put pictures I think it would be cute to put pictures but yeah so this is the turn lock wallet and it does have this middle compartment which I'm gonna open and then it just has this accordion style and it has more uh, slots for your uh, cards this one has an additional three on each so you get a total of six and then on this side it's just one main slip and then of course you got this really nice space um, in here as well so you got space here and you have space here so not not bad and uh, now this one is a little larger I find the turn lock to be more uh, narrow and taller than the other ones but uh, I'll show you in comparison say to the Georgia wallet but I am gonna put the turn lock into this into the uh, little hipster and there you can see that the little hipster is up to here so it comes up to here but no less you have room in here so it is you know thin and narrow enough that you'll still have you know room to put other things in here but it's just to give you an idea of what it will look like in a little hipster of course if you put it in a bigger bag it's gonna fit nicely and well with no problem so there you go inside alrighty so we're gonna move on to the next wallet uh, this one is probably one of the most iconic, popular, go-to wallets that most uh, will pick up. And this is the Georgia wallet. This one is in the pattern Cuban Tiles. And yeah, this, this one is a signature pattern as well. Although you could get the Georgia wallet in the outlets. Um, in comparison to the Turnlock wallet... Let me just show you. The Georgia wallet definitely is much, uh, it's shorter. Because I think the width is about the same. Let me just do the width. Actually, this one is a better view like this. So, it's the same width. See? Same width. But the turn lock is taller. So, the Georgia wallet is more streamlined, it's shorter. And, of course, I'll note the Georgia wallet size here so that you guys can see. But it's pretty much the same uh, as far as the the width. So uh, the Georgia wallet in the iconic um, cotton. It also comes uh, in the light enough, I think. Most of my Georgia wallets are actually in the cotton. But anywho. So what I do like about uh, all the wallets actually that Vera does. They always match their, um, their zipper to... Do they match the zippers? Yeah. For the most part, they do match their zipper to the color of the pattern, so it always blends in. They never use the, the silver or gold zipper or anything like that, and their zippers really work pretty good. So if you're wondering, um, yeah, I've never had any issues with their, with their zippers. I could do this all day, but it's easy breezy. Uh, this one... Uh, on the inside, I did have a credit card stuff in there to you that I was testing. But this one has one, two. So this one has a, a billfold right here, or this you know big sl uh, slip and pocket here, and it has uh, two on each side, so it gives you a total of four car slots. Then you have the middle compartment that you can use to put change. This one has change. I try to keep change in all my wallets, even if I don't use them. Because the day I use them, I don't like to be changing my change. <laughs> Does that make sense? Changing my change. So I try to fill them up and just spread the love on all in all my wallets. But it holds a, a lot of uh, change in there. So that I do like. Easy to, if I needed to get a quarter, easy breezy. The other side has the same thing. Another slip pocket with... Uh, four credit card slots and it has a nice interior 
um, put the VB in there as well. So yeah, so this is the Georgia wallet. Very common. Um, I think when uh, this is probably the, the the wallet that when Vera incorporates like a new pattern, um, definitely you will find the new patterns in the Georgia wallet. So very very useful. It's their you know signature continental wallet. If you ask me, is the Georgia wallet. So I'm gonna put this in the little hipster, and there you can see that it's about the same uh, width as the turn lock, but you have a little more um, room up here because it's not as tall as the turn lock. So there you see, you have it like that. Let me put it this way. So you can see, there you go. Plenty of room. So that is what the um, Georgia wallet will look in this small bag. And then I do have the Georgia wallet in two other patterns or three other patterns. I do have the Georgia wallet in the, uh, this is called Santiago Woven, if I'm not mistaken. And this one is a cutie as well. Yeah, Santiago Woven. Same uh, breakdown in size, as well with the pockets, cute interior, nice zipper. And that closes nicely. Yeah, and it's the same size. You have this. Yep. See. Alrighty. And then um uh, trying not to have too much of a mess here. Uh I do have it also in the snow lotus. So this one I I love the snow lotus. This one I did use because I have a Hatley in Snow Lotus. So I did uh use this one in my Snow Lotus Hatley, which is Hat, no, Snow Lotus Halley Tote, because Halley comes in backpacks, it, but I use it in my tote. And this one is so cute. As you can see, it has the black zipper. Um, this one has the, the faux leather. So some of them are going to have the faux leather, and some of them have the, the uh, ribbon. So I, I can't tell you what's the difference, but... Or how or why, but I don't know what they're using nowadays. Vera changes so many times, I have no idea. I can't even keep tabs of their zipper pulls. All I know is a Georgia wallet is pretty much this is a Georgia wallet. Uh, yeah, so this is in, in Snow Lotus, which is so pretty, and uh, love her. So, one, two, and three Georgia wallets, and and actually, let me just see, is this a Georgia wallet? The one I'm using now? Yeah, this one that I'm using currently, which, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know from which line. I don't have, I'm trying to see if I have the paperwork in here, because usually I'll keep the little tag. Oh, yeah, bear with me, this one does have the tag. So this one, yes, yeah, the Georgia wallet in Hawthorne Rose. Uh, you can't really see it. Autofocus is terrible on this phone. But yeah, this is the Georgia wallet that I'm using now in Hawthorne Rose. Uh, I got this one to match, if you guys know my PSA, the mail bag that I have. Um, uh, although I'm not using the mail bag now, but I was using her. And I decided just to keep using the wallet because I just love, I love the color. I love the, the that diamond, large diamond um, basket, kind of weaving style so it's really good I mean it fits a lot you can put your look how cute on the inside so you can fit change in here you can fit change in here and then um, you know you've got your slots here for your credit cards and more slots here for your credit cards as well so and then of course my middle holds more change as well so yeah I've been using her love her She's a really great wallet. So if you guys have been thinking about getting a Georgia wallet, I definitely would recommend getting her. Now this one has the Vera Bradley tab here. The Snow Lotus has no Vera Bradley tab. Neither does this one, this one, or this one. None of them have the Vera Bradley tab. This one does. I think it's because this is more the, the, the it's a solid color. So every Georgia wallet, it's, it's diff, has its little differences. 
But for the most part, they're all the same. I mean, they all keep their colors the same and uh, same size. So this is what you can expect when you order a Georgia wallet if you decide to get it. Alrighty. And the next wallet, actually I have this wallet. I picked this wallet up um, on the online outlet sale, which actually today's the last day of the online outlet sale. And hopefully you uh, addict denises are taking advantage of that. I know I did. And if, if you are wanting to know more about more wallets, well then definitely hit that notification bell because this Addict Denista ordered two wallets uh, during this sale. Two wallets that I do not have. I'm not going to be able to show you on this PSA. But I did order two trifold wallets. Uh, RFID, which I'm happy about. And of course it's the trifold with the magnetic. And I really look forward to, to getting that. So when I do, you know, I'm going to be doing an unbagging. Because it's not going to come in a box. So I'm going to be doing an unbagging on that on those two wallets but this one I picked up uh, during the online outlet sale it's part of the Midtown collection the reason I picked this up there's a PSA a few PSAs back where I picked up the Midtown cargo backpack in the same pattern city uh, plaid uh, I picked it up at TJ Maxx and when I saw this on the online outlet sale I was like oh I have to have it so I have it and um, and it's just, it hasn't been used yet because I haven't used the backpack yet. But this one comes with a strap. So it is a wristlet uh, wallet and it's not detachable. So if this drives you crazy, you could just always take it off. But uh, yeah, so it comes, you know, unlike these other wallets, they don't come with any straps. But this one does have the strap. So this is a wristlet. It has that Q Vera Bradley uh, logo right on top. And this one to me, let me actually, let me measure in comparison to the Georgia wallet. It's probably the same thing. It probably is a hair, a hair taller, just a slight hair taller than the Georgia wallet, this, the Midtown. So if you ask me, this is a Georgia wallet as well. They just, you know, because it's a different material, you know, um, made for the Midtown collection. This is uh, what they call it, and it has a strap too. So yeah, let me get the little tag here because I haven't used her yet. This one is called the Midtown RFID uh, wristlet, and that's in the pattern City Plaid. And you'll see inside, it's pretty much the same. Oh, actually, let me just double check something. I'm gonna backtrack to the Georgia wallet. And yeah. I forgot to mention the Georgia wallet does have a window, a clear window on on the uh, pocket part. So the part, the 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 section with the zipper does have this clear ID window. So you have for the credit cards, and you also have for the your uh, ID. So I forgot to mention that on my uh, as I was showing you this one. Yeah, as I was showing you the. Cuban tiles there you go so they all have a clear window where you put your change so the same thing with the Midtown it has the uh, clear window right here where you put your change and if you see it's pretty much the same uh, breakdown you have the slot uh, the large slip-in for your dollar bills and it also has it on this side as well and then it has four uh, each one has two slip in for your uh, cards so you have a total of eight and then you have the generous uh, space here in between and then you have this pocket for your change so yeah so this is the Midtown the reason it's the Midtown is because of the fabric that they use the Midtown is more weather resistant and you know like I said it comes with did I mention that it comes with this <laughs> with this <laughs> strap Oh, uh, yeah, I like this one. So yeah, I like the feel. I would definitely just use this. I'm, I'm probably gonna use this very soon, even if I don't use the the uh, backpack yet. I do like this uh, uh, wallet, and the zipper is really great. I mean, I could just do this all day. So and then it's the same color as well. So yeah, let me put this inside. It's gonna look the same. 
I'm going to put it inside the hipster and there you go. It looks just like all, like the uh, Georgia wallets. That's where you have your room. And you still have room. And you have room here. So it takes about this much space in here, in there. Alrighty. Okay, so that is that one. And then I do have these two. Now these are primarily um, factory outlet style versions. And these are a little larger than the Georgia Wallet. These are actually called the Accordion. I have it in African Violet and Stamp Paisley. Let me, we'll look at Stamp Paisley. So yeah, so this is the Accordion Wallet. Now, now I know I said that I normally, I, all my wallets have to have RFID. Well, these are probably the first two wallets I purchased uh, that I realized did not have RFID. So these two do not have RFID. <laughs> Am I going to use them? I don't think so, but I probably would give them as gifts um, to maybe my nieces, you know, um, um, who are, are going to school or, uh, or to that effect that they can use them, use it to put their IDs and things like that. They're gift cards. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the same thing with the African Violet. So this is what the inside looks like uh, on these accordion uh, wallets. But it has it's the same layout as the Georgia Wallet. Uh, yeah, it's the same layout as the Georgia Wallet. It has the clear window uh, there. And then it has a slip pocket here and another slip pocket here. And then you got the the slots for your credit cards and it's the same this one has actually this one has unlike the Georgia wallet that has uh, two on each side this one has three on each side so the accordion wallet uh, does take uh, give you know has more room for your credit cards and again generously uh, generous space on each side um, that you probably could fit your cell phone as well so I think you could fit your cell phone you got plenty of room but it, I would say cell phone without a case because, I mean, I use, as you know, this case and I don't think it'll fit. Oh, well, you know what? It actually does fit, but it's going to be a little tight, especially if you have a thick case like me. Now, if you have just a plain outer box, this can work for your cell phone. So if you are looking for something that can fit your, that'll hold your phone, look at that, that'll hold your phone and some dollar bills and the accordion wallets could work for you definitely like i said i picked these up at the outlet and you could probably pick it up on the outlet sale as well so yeah i don't i wouldn't use my cell phone on the georgia wallet but i'm gonna note the size to this because i can't you know i'm gonna have to measure this but i'm gonna measure it right here so it's been measured there you go that's the size to the accordion wallet and I'm gonna put it in the little hipster and that's what it looks like in there so yeah so you still have room here and here but yeah that's what it looks like in there but you still got room so you know these wallets are made for even the smallest of spaces it just depends on on what you're putting inside your little bags but yeah it's cute and these are cute wallets you can always use it as a clutch if you need to just you know use it to to do a run uh yeah so african violet and stamp paisley outlet version and then um these two well, actually let me let me save these for for last um this one now this one is interesting as well this one i picked up at the uh at the outlet store I actually over the summer bought this and I loved it. Again, this is in blue tapestry, which is the same blue tapestry that I have in the Turnlock uh, wallet. Now the Turnlock wallet is, yeah, RFID. This one I picked up because it says, it says it's an accordion wallet. So I picked this one up as well, not realizing it's not RFID because I got excited. But this is also an accordion wallet, but for some reason, I don't know if it's because it's a newer version, but 
it is a whole lot smaller than this accordion wallet so these are supposed to be the same wallets but I don't understand this one seems a little shorter as you can tell definitely it's shorter I mean it's the same width but it is uh, shorter see so I don't know if they named this incorrectly if it is an accordion wallet because it looks just like a Georgia wallet see so it even has the the ribbon so I'm like I don't know somebody made a mistake with this but this is supposed to be an accordion wallet but it looks to me like a Georgia wallet it really really does it has the slip pocket here the same layout it's just the same layout and this one actually has yeah yeah I think they made a mistake because this one has four um, credit cards one two yeah so this one has two credit cards just like the Georgia wallet because we already established that this accordion has three on each side this one only has two so although it says accordion I'm starting to suspect that this is really a Georgia wallet uh, but yeah so I'm gonna include that with the Georgia Wally even though it says accordion because it's just not it's not fitting the bill so that's that all right and then I did pick this one up on one of the outlet sales as well uh, this one I really like because you see the patchwork uh, I love that it has those different colors because I do have a red Glenna uh, of course you got black uh, yeah you have your black this is a navy blue here I love that pink that pink goes with anything that's cute as well and then the back side is just strictly all black and it's in that cotton diamond uh, quilt micro actually it's a very micro and I love this because it has this pocket right here look at that cute little pattern design that is adorable yeah so this one also let me get a real Georgia wallet let me get back to this one and I'll tell you what this one is but it is a roughly the same size as the Georgia wallet. It probably has like a hair, it's probably a hair longer. But it could be just this wallet, uh, you know, I don't know. Sometimes no two are alike, although they should be. But this one, oh, look how pretty. Now this one has more pockets. So this is not a Georgia wallet. This this one is the RFID accordion wristlet so this is actually a wallet wristlet co combination and it is RFID so it does have where is my little thing it does have a strap which I can't find it came with a strap it comes with a strap and I don't have the strap with me I probably yeah I probably stuck it somewhere in my uh, one of my pockets or drawers or something but it does come with um, a strap, so it is a wristlet. I think it came in black. You know, it's not going to be with a pattern, so it came in bl with black. Um, and this one definitely has, uh, it's almost like a Georgia wallet. You have your slot here, and then you have one, two, two uh, slots for your credit cards. And then you have the, the middle. For your change so you got the middle pocket for your change there and then does it have the window no it doesn't have a clear window on the change pocket but it does have that Vera Bradley there and then as you're moving on so you got the change and then it has this additional so this is the one that has your clear window ID and it has this little extra like compartment so you get a little extra room there. So this one probably could fit a cell phone uh, without a case. So if you have that really thin outer box, you should be able to fit one in there. Uh, but it has plenty of room on the on the on the in between the pockets. So that I do like, and I think I, I'm gonna try putting my case in here. And then the other side's the same thing. You have more uh, another slip in pockets and more for your credit card. Actually, let me put in. My cell phone and see if that works so I'm gonna put it well maybe not it's a little tighter not like the uh, accordion not like this accordion because it's taller actually fit this one because it's shorter is a little tighter so that might not work 
Yeah, it's not gonna work. Nope, it's not gonna work on this one. But like I said, if you have a phone where you're not using a case like this one, you know, I use one of these cases, then you might be able to get away with it. All right, so let me close that up. Okay, so, oh, and then uh, did I show you the back side? Yes, I think I showed you the back side. So this is really nice. This is like, wow, this is like a really a big art uh, accordion wallet. So this is iconic. Um, and that is what it looks like. So this is iconic. And this is what it looks like. So it's really, really pretty. And I'm going to note the size on this one in case you guys are looking for the RFID iconic uh, accordion wallet. And then I'm going to put this in here into the hipster. And that's what it looks like there. So it's about the same space. Uh, it takes about the same uh, real estate space like the uh, Georgia wallet and like the um, yeah, the Georgia wallet and the accordion. So it's pretty much the same. So that's what it looks like in there. Alrighty. And then uh, I am down to like three more wallets. I'm going to try to make this quick. Uh, as you know, uh, I am into lately the, uh, the small wallet. So this is a... This one is part of the carry-all collection, and the carry-all is basically because it's leather. Uh, if you saw my previous PSA, you should have seen where I picked up uh, two small wallets. One was in the Lighten Up in Holland uh, Bouquet, which uh, I love. That's I have it in my mini sling. And then I also picked this uh, up as well in the Signature in the Indiana Rose. Uh, also in the small wallet so they're all the same and I love the l little small wallets because it has this little flap you open it up it has a dual you know two uh, uh, snatch there um, and then when you open it up you have your slots also it's RFID this one has one two three for your credit cards it has this pocket here and then it has over here as well you can put something inside and then it has this this is actually your Oh, it's up here. I'm going sideways, but it's up here where you can put your uh, ID uh, in this clear window. And then it has this nice size. Uh, yes, and it lays flat. This fits perfectly a dollar bill. I don't have a dollar bill with me. I thought I had it in one of the wallets, but I don't. But it fits nicely. Plenty of room to put your dollars in here. It's not going to get scrunched up. The only wallet that I'm going to show you where it might get a little scrunched up Everything else, your dollar bills will fit nice and flat, and they will lay nice and flat. And this one is just so perfect, and it's so cute. Look at that inside. Love it, love it, love it. So, yeah, it's very compact. This is why I like this wallet a lot. And then it has this L-shaped uh, pocket back here. I love the, the way they did that Vera Bradley. Really pretty. And this is uh, leather, so this is a leather tab because it is a leather wallet. And when you open it up, look how pretty that opens up to. This is for your change, and I actually have some change in here, so if you want to see. So it does hold change nicely, and it's just a really nice size. And then I'm going to put this uh, little small wallet. It's called Small Wallet, so if you're interested, this is what you're going to look for, Small Wallet. And you can only imagine how it looks perfect inside uh, a bag like a little hipster. It just fits perfectly. I mean, you have plenty of room. It comes up to here, and let me see, where does it go? Yeah, and it comes up to here. So you have plenty of room to put a lot of other things in here, and you can also stand her up. So if you stand her up, you even have more room inside this bag. So this is like the perfect wallet to me. I really am digging the the small wallet lately. I already have three, and as they incorporate more patterns in the small wallet, I. I plan to get more because I think they're so good. And unfortunately, it is replacing, I believe, the RFID card case, which I, I do have one. I'm going to show you. I'm going to actually have to pause this so I can reach for one of my um, one of my RFID uh, card case, which is like a wallet, but it's, you know, I'll just show you. I have a lot of those. That That's a whole different PSA. And then I am going to show you this, these two that I have which is the uh this is the uh grab and go wristlet 
So this is a wristlet because it has, as you see, the little tab here. So it serves as a wristlet as well. Oh yeah, this one does have, I left it in here. So I just took it out, but that's what it looks like when you put it on. So that's the wristlet. And this one is much more compact. So it's much more narrow. Uh, I'm going to compare it to the other ones, but let me just show you the inside. It has, oops, it has the uh, slot for your bills and your slot for your bills and then it has two for your credit cards on each side and then it has this main compartment for your change this one actually you have to change in there as well so that holds your change and then you have a nice uh, space in between both that you can use uh, and then this one yeah when you put the dollar in here it's just a it's just a little scrunched up together but you could still lay your dollar bills in here flatly with with no problem and then let me just compare it to say uh, the Georgia wallet so let me just line this up with the Georgia wallet okay so as you can see it's much more shorter and it's about the same height I would say it's about the same height and it is the same with so if you're looking at something for a little more a, a bit narrow then you want to grab you know definitely consider the grab and go wristlet that serves nicely as a wallet too and I'm going to put it in the little hipster and there you have it that's what it looks like so it's basically almost the same as the um, Georgia wallet but you'll have a little more room on the end and probably yeah you'll have a, a bit more room but it's all the same so that's what it looks like in there inside the uh georgia inside the hipster all right so that one is that uh and i did i do have rather two of these i have it also in modern medley as well so this is in uh, modern medley which was part one year i think it was last year for the cancer uh breast cancer um awareness that they do they always put out one pattern so yeah this one is called modern medley is a grab-and-go wristlet as well so if you i'm not sure if they have this they still might have it online if not you can pick this up i'm sure you can find it on on some of the resellers like ebay or poshmark but it's so pretty i like this orange here and i like that one so yeah so this is they're both the grab-and-go wristlet so i like this a lot uh, and then I think that's pretty much for all the wallets that I have. I have these little things here that I also picked up along the way. We all know what a, a zip case looks like. And this is a scroll medallion, resort medallion, a change coin, another change coin. I got this one to match my wallet that I have that you guys saw at Hawthorne Rose. Uh, yeah, another zip case as well. Um, I have this one that I picked up at the outlet store. So this one I, I purchased directly at the outlet store. This is a scroll medallion. This is a really small petite wallet. This is like the probably the smallest, if you can consider it at a, a wallet. Uh, this one, uh, let me just, now it's not RFID, but it's called the petite zip around uh, wallet. Yeah, they, they coined this as a wallet, but it's really, really small, but it's cute. I like this because Although it's not RFID, if you need a really small wallet, this will fit the bill. As you can see, it comes with this key ring, uh, so you could uh, clip your key in here, which is cool, or your your driver, your your car key, any key that works. The back has this uh, um, clear window, so you can put your ID. This is like really good for work as well. It's a zip around. It's accordion style. It has this really little tiny. Uh, pocket in the middle here that you could just put ever so much uh, change in here and then it has this back wall for one credit card or you could even double it up so you could put two you could probably even put no I would say two two is kind of pushing it uh, and then you can probably put two credit cards here as well and they have this little space here and they have this little space here so this is like a really tiny wallet it is definitely petite I mean, if you want to see what it looks like next to the uh, Georgia wallet, look how small that is. 
that is like a really tiny wallet so that is really really cute and then if I was gonna compare this to the uh, the small wallet just to give an idea see this is what the small wallet and the petite wallet looks like and I'm gonna put it right in front so you know this is definitely a wallet this is really petite but it's almost the same size but this is really really tiny and then if I'm gonna put this inside the little hipster it's really small that's what it looks like in there so it fits nicely in a little hipster so that is the petite zip around wallet definitely worth uh, worth getting one or two because you're always gonna need a really teeny tiny wallet at some point for something especially something small and then um, real quickly I do have these two wallets this is one of my favorite wallets I love this wallet this is in the um, oh my god this is in the medallion I can't remember but it's one of my favorite I, I, I've used it so many times I even still got receipts in here but this um, this cutie I forgot what the pattern is called. Oh, here it is. This pattern, this is the uh, mini medallions. Yes, this is the mini medallions. This is so cute. This is in the lighten up because anything that's a lighten up material will always has this, uh, this uh, kind of zipper pull. And um, even though it says lighten in the lighten up, it's actually, this is actually fabric -y. Um To me, you know, it feels like fabric. But this is so cute. It has also the... Um, ring that you can use to put your attach your key it has this little back pocket back here and then uh, when you open it up it has you know just that one snap you open it up you got the ID for your window the window for your ID rather it has a pocket back here and it has a slip well no Actually, it does. It only has one slip right here for your credit card. And as you can see, it's RFID. So you can put a credit card here, but you got a nice little pocket here. You got pocket here. And you have this pocket, which holds plenty of change, actually. This is, I love this one because it does hold plenty of change. I have, I have change in there. I have plenty of change. See? You can see the change. So it holds plenty of change. And I don't know if I show you that it has a back pocket here right behind the zipper portion. So when you zipper this up, you still have access to this pocket. Uh, really cute. Oh, and of course the front. The front has two additional slots for your credit card. So you have these two plus that one in the inside. So you really have three credit cards and you can probably put two in here. Uh, but it's just rooming. I mean, you, could fold, you, know, you obviously have to fold your dollar bills. But really roomy. Uh, I love this one. I use it a lot when I'm running around. And if I was to put this inside the hipster, the little hipster, that's what it looks like in there. Just to give you an idea. Let me move that ticket. So that's what it looks like in here. So really, really uh, a good size for your smaller bags like the, like the hipster, the little hipster. And uh, I have about... 10 of these which I would love if you guys want me to do a PSA and show you all my 10 I'll be more than happy to uh, I'll just show you real quickly I have it in this uh, Midtown material this one I picked up not too long ago um, as you can see it still has the paper um, but it's so cute yeah this one is in the lighting up uh, no this is the Midtown part of the Midtown collection and same same layout and it has a cute color inside that Hawthorne rose. So when you open it up, yeah, and the Midtown collection always has a different zipper pull, which I can't take off on that one, but that's what it looks like inside. Just like the Hawthorne rose. So, and this one is, is RFID as well, because they always will put that RFID in there. So yeah, so this one, I forgot what the pattern on this one is called. Hang on one second, I'll let you guys know. This one is in the Midnight Floral. So it's Midnight Floral is the name of this uh, pattern for this uh, RFID card case. And if you wanted to compare it to the Petite Zip Around, 
the petite zip around still wins as the smallest wallet that probably Vera has. So if you're looking for something small, this petite zip around, and if you can get it in the RFID, Vera, if you do not have this in an RFID, please put this, put the RFID in the petite zip around wallet because we need it for like a mini slings and all other, you know, little, you know, uh, what's the other hipster that we have? The little tiny one. I should have, but I can't remember offhand, but you know, the little crossbody that's really small. Uh, yeah, so these are it. So, these are the wallets that I currently have. As I mentioned to you uh, at the start of this PSA, I do have two wallets on their way. The Trifold wallet, which I am looking forward to that. So, uh, yeah, so it's a little long. I'm going to try to obviously make this as, as short as possible. Hopefully, I didn't bore you too much. And hopefully, you um, were able to maybe spot one or two wallets that you were interested in. But like I said, uh, when it comes to Vera's wallets, the most common wallets would be always the Georgia wallet, the RFID compact wallet, uh, the Turnlock wallet, which I have here. So the Turnlock wallet, the Georgia wallet, the uh, Riley compact, and then the other one would be the new one, if you ask me. These are like the four common wallets that you will probably gravitate to the most. Like these are the ones I will buy the most. Uh, my favorite ones, of course, are the small wallet, uh, the compact wallet, the Riley compact wallet, and of course, the Georgia wallet because it's their signature continental style wallet. All right, so Wendy, I hope this helped and I hope that you pick up as many Vera wallets as you can, as well as all my other Addictinistas. So thank you for stopping by. Thank you for checking out this PSA and of course I plan to have more down the road uh, so again thank you for stopping by and uh, until then stay well be well love one another please love one another and I will uh, check you out soon so until then you take care now bye